sunshine when she's gone It ain't warm when she goes away Ain't no sunshine when she's gone She's always gone too long Anytime she goes away Wonder this time where she's gone Wonder if she's gonna stay Ain't no sunshine when she's gone And this house is ain't no home Anytime she goes away And I wanna know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know sunshine when she's gone and this house just ain't no home anytime she goes away anytime she goes away anytime she goes away Bill Withers, ain't no sunshine when she gone. Y'all need to check him out. I love Bill Withers. That man got real true soul, man. Wherever you at, man. Ooh, man. I love your music. I love your music. This goes out to Bill Withers. Hello. Really, really popular guy. You know, especially in the in the seventies and everything, he played the acoustic. He really got me. Really, he really had me wanting to play the acoustics when I was little. So my mom would, y'all, my ears stopped up. My mom would go out and buy plastic good guitars. Now I know why she did it. She wanted me to play a violin, so I played a violin. Okay. So she would go all out for the violin and, and the clarinet. Yes. She wanted me. So I played. I played. I played. I played. Let me tell you how my mama was. She bought the best when it came to the instrument she liked the most. And, uh, you know, okay, I can't say anything because that was her money. So she bought me a clarinet. Real, real cool. I played it all through high school. And then she sold it without asking me. You know what, Vanita? Do you want to keep your clarinet? I would have said, Mama, I want to keep my clarinet. But no, she sold it to my cousin, Lori. And so she wanted me to play the violin, which I played it off and off, off and on, off and on, which I really, really love the violin just as much as I love the guitar. But she would buy the finest in the violin. Oh, it was student grade. It was good. And the clarinet, student grade. But plastic guitars plastic guitars i kind of understand why because she wouldn't she was not going to give me my um, um guitar classes she paid for she paid for violin classes but not guitar classes so she would buy a plastic guitar for me every single Christ christmas with the nylon um the nylon strings and they, they would be made of plastic and, you know, I would decorate them and stuff like that. And I took good care of them, but when the strings break, they just broke. I would have to wait to Christmas to get a new one. <laughs> but I, I loved Bill Withers, okay? He was like one of my, one of my favorite guitarists was Bill Withers. And Prince was one of my favorite. And of course... Who could leave out? Dang, I can't even think of his name. My God, the guy who um, who um, um, played Voodoo Child. How could I? Jimi Hendrix. I think everybody loved Jimi Hendrix. And um, 
But as I grew older, what forced me to get a, get a good tar, because I got my first good tar. In 2001, I bought it from a guy who had it since the 70s, the Hoffner, which is in the room. I'm going to keep it. The one I told y'all, the bridge is actually, this is a bridge. The bridge is coming up on the Hoffner. This is not the Hoffner. This right here ain't no joke. This is a $1,300 guitar. So, and, and people who know guitars know this guitar. It's a tailor, so it's all right. You know these things probably are made in Mexico. You know? Uh, so, I was trying to see if it lets you know um, exactly. Um, Y'all can't see it where it was made, but this is a... Uh, Taylor. It's one of the most expensive guitars I have. I want a Martin and Company. So if you like to get me a Martin and Company, I'd be glad to have it. Uh, so she would buy plastic guitars every year. Plastic for Christmas, and then it stopped. Plastic. A plastic guitar. And uh, it, you know, I made the best of it. I could it, I could do some little strings like this. I would just play like two strings. I would do stuff like that and sing to it and stuff as a little girl. So I would always get plastic guitars and a plastic piano, which was really, really small, like a grand piano. And I would ding, 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 ding. And I remember when I first met Mr. Willie, because I went to school, to college with his sister and stuff like that. And his sister um, um, actually brought him to the house because he saw a picture of me. He thought it was really, he thought I was really cool and he liked me and everything. So he came to my house and everything. And so, you know, that's how I began to learn how to play the keyboard. I mean, the piano and the keyboard. Mr. Willow would bring his keyboard over to the house, and I would play ding, 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 ding. Mr. Willow would leave his keyboard with me because y'all know he is a musician. Yeah, he's a musician, not a magician, but a musician on the keyboard. So he would go ding, 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 ding. He would put my fingers on it, and I took off from there playing the keyboard, you know, and then, you know, I just adapted to um, what he was playing, watching his keys and stuff like that. And so that's how I got started, and I don't even know why I'm even talking about that uh, and everything, but... I just want to make some music up. Ooh. <laughs> Y'all thought I was going to make some music, but I fooled you. I fooled you. This is the Grinch. I know y'all get tired of me talking about the guitars, but I do have a few guitar enthusiasts. Okay, I had one man that actually paid for a reading, and all he wanted to do was play his guitar with me, and me play my guitar with him on Skype. You know who you are. <laughs> so, um, so I do have guitarists out there that I love it. This is my sweat day. Mm. The 
sweetest thing I ever know Was the precious kiss on the collarbone The sweet caress of happiness The way you walk your style of dress Makes me all the just the same. Something, something in your neck. Ooh, it was the sweet. It's like a, it's like a queen. A queen upon a throne. Mm -mm -mm. Like the precious. Yeah, I remember I used to play that. Y'all remember when I used to play that a long time ago when YouTube was a cool place for witches? Dang, I miss those days. We had some happy days when we first got started. I pulled out my guitar 2009. No, I actually pulled it out 2008. And I was like playing the music. It was a really happy place. It was not a hostile environment when, when people were saying, You're fake! It, it was it was a place where you know you know witches greeted each other. Two thousand and eight, I had a good time. That's when I was a real witch. I was really real real then. I had a lot of people to, to support me, and a lot of witches were coming out of the closet. You know, you could come out and say, "I'm a witch." You didn't have to worry about anybody saying, "Hey, you know what? You're fake." Wonderful time. Y'all go back and look at the history of the uh, videos. 2008, I came on the scene and declared myself a witch. But now, I'm a fake. I'm not even real. And, and, and I'm like, oh, wow. That's pretty cool. I'm, I won't have to worry about the bad stigmatism attached to it anymore. It, it's cool. I'm a fake witch, they say. She's a fake. Dang. But why didn't you tell me that 2008, 2009, 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14... Why did you find it convenient to tell me that 10 years later? Hello? Uh, hello? Where were you in 2008? Those who say, she's a fake. Where were you? Where were you? Ah! I want everybody to go back and think about what they were doing in 08. All of the witches, go back to 08. What were you doing, okay? I don't know about y'all, but I was here. I was introducing everyone to my dolls and introducing people to my gardening, saying that I'm a guard witch. Yes. It was so much fun. Now people are just basically just going for the juggler. I'm going to kill you. You're fake. Once upon a time, we couldn't even come out and even say we were witches. Now, everybody's a fake witch. I honestly think that if someone declares themselves a witch, they're technically a witch. Y'all only got bit up by mosquitoes. Beat up. But anyways, y'all, um, I'm going to go ahead and let this video... Uh, go please rate on um, subscribe and i'll probably be back to tomorrow with another video how about that and i you know what i'm gonna start back up and i because i need to talk to y'all about something i'm gonna start a video well i'm gonna talk to you all about when someone a client when a client present to you something this is just, 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 just going. You gonna have some clients. This, 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 this going down. I've had a few to die on me, and you gonna have some clients. Did y'all hear my me and my auntie talking? My auntie was talking about how, you know, she had a client that owed her fifteen hundred dollars, and the person died on her before they paid her all her money. And y'all heard of what she said? <laughs> that pissed her off. Anyway. 
I'm going to take y'all to see auntie. We're going to go and sit in front of auntie. I love when I'm working with auntie because she make my work my work happen fast. That's what I love about having a auntie that got the power of who do. I give her a little piece of change out of the case. It happens quickly. It happens fast. So I'm so happy to have auntie in my life. And because, uh, you know, me and auntie hadn't talked in a while. Y'all didn't know that. So it was just like we were getting to know each other all over again. But, you know, I ain't going to let no time pass me by like that. And I have time with my auntie. Because if I outlive my auntie, she promised me her spirits. And if she outlived me, I promised her my spirits. I don't know. I'll be having second thoughts. <laughs> You know, because your spirit's going to go to somebody. You know, you don't take them off with you. They go to other people. You know what I'm saying? So, she promised me her spirits. I promised her. I can't make auntie no spirits. She just told me she'll get mine. But I didn't say she had them, okay? So, anyways, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take y'all there. Because some people love to hear auntie talk. Y'all love auntie, don't you? Y'all, some of y'all want auntie to do work for you, don't you? Uh-huh. So me and her together, man, we ain't no joke, man. I got a 75-year-old woman. She'll be said did she say 76, 77, something like that? Y'all go back and listen to the tape. I, I got a woman got my, my back. Okay, the older they are, the stronger they are now. I got an old woman got my back, so y'all better watch out. Uh, haters, y'all y'all better take a back seat. Okay, I got an old lady got mine. Angel watching over me. I got an angel watching me, keeping me from all harm and danger. Hey, I got an angel watching me, keeping me from all harm and danger. <laughs> keeping me from all harm and danger. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got an angel watching over me. I sure do. I got an angel watching over me. And if y'all don't know who made that, Dorinda, Dorinda, Dorindo. I think it's Dorindo. Dorindo Clark Cole. Hello? Hello? She says, I got an angel watching over me, okay? What you gonna do when your back's against the wall? What you gonna do when your back's against the wall? Hang on in there. I don't know how the song go. <laughs> I don't forget how the song go. Okay. Uh, uh, that right there, Dorinda Clock Cole. Niece. That's who that is. Yeah. She said, hang on in there. That's gospel music. Y'all got to realize, I'm from the South. Okay? Who do people, we go to church. Okay? And we sing gospel. Now, y'all making, these folks making a whole new thing out of who do. They be talking about some, you don't read the Bible. They be telling us, down here, how I go. I'm like, you from out West and you telling me how to do it. Hello? For where I Nova Scotia trying to correct us when it comes to our heritage. That's my heritage. I know what we did growing up. So can't, ain't nobody going to tell me it's the incorrect way. Okay. That's just like me going over there to uh, Africa, to Benin, and telling them they ain't doing voodoo right because I read something in a book. Most of y'all who ain't from the South, y'all read y'all shit in a book. Y'all know y'all did. Excuse me, y'all. I'm burping because I had some beans and 
You know, I had them beans. Y'all know how them beans is. I had some kidney beans. They were real, real good. They came from Jamaica. They came from Jamaica. And they were cooked in coconut milk. So I had some of those. So um, I, I, I'm, I'm burping. And, and so that's why I have to pause it so I can burp. And then my nose is kind of acting up the day. Because some days I'll go and conserve energy. And I think we all need to get in a practice of going without the air, going without the uh, electricity, like grandma would say, the electricity. And and uh, you better get used to it, niggas, because I'm telling you, it's going to get hot. Hello? Hello? It going to be hot? And you know what? I got, I got, I got, I got, I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to do a video on when you could tell. When your client come to you, they finna get ready to leave this world, okay? I had, let's see, I had two so far to, 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 uh, give up the ghost. And I want y'all to know the telltale signs is scary. And, um, so I think I want to, before, I don't want to go to bed talking about this because I ain't lying. I don't care. Y'all can sit up and talk about something. I ain't finna umper myself. I don't umper myself. <laughs> I don't umper myself to nobody. Death will umper you. Hello? Hello? If it don't umper you because you finna leave here to show up and umper you, somebody you love leave here. Hello? Hello? The person you love the most when they leave here and give up the ghost, you go umper thyself. Hello? And, uh... Damn, my voice sound like my eyes. Good gracious. Uh, another thing that's going to humble you is if you get sick. <laughs> you get wrecked in your pain with, in your, all over your body. You come down with cancer or some, or some disease or something that is painful. That will humble you. <laughs> that shall humble you. And death will humble you too. Lose somebody in your family you love. You will. Um, that's why I always say I'm humbled. I'm humbled. I don't never want y'all to think. She the big bad wolf. Or she thinks she the big bad wolf. No, I'm humbled. Because I don't know what I might have to come on here and tell y'all. Okay? You got to stay strong for yourself. Don't look for your strength in me. Because see, I, and I might come here and be crying or something. Something like that. I might be crying. So, uh, so, um, so I want to talk to you all about that, knowing the different signs, and I don't want to talk about it now because I got to go to bed, and my sinuses is acting up, so I can't talk too much and stuff, because they don't, a helicopter car came across my house and dusted my home, okay? They will take your asses out. Yes, they will. They watch it. Every last one of us. They love to have social media open for us and YouTube so they can see who the snitches is. Who gonna tell all their damn business. Y'all know they need plenty of kidneys, livers, and hearts, and eyeballs. Y'all know it. You know your livestock. Come on. Now. Yeah, this stuff ain't new. Ain't nothing new about none of this. You know they always seen you like a herd. Of animals. You know what. They got you all pinned in. You can't go to this country. You can't go to that country. To tell you where you can go. And where you can't go. Hello. They need you more than you need them. To tell you the truth. Hello. You can't go to Cuba. If you go you got to have a chaperone. I don't even know. They might have took that off the gym. They they want uh, uh, a sort of Chicago so bad. Cause see, I know the reason why they won't fuck with Cuba. First of all, they can't stand the fact, fact they're communists. As long as Cuba's communists, they got allies. See what I'm saying? Join us and become a democracy. If you become a democracy, we don't have to worry about if we want to shoot missiles over there to y'all. We don't have to worry about Russia coming to your rescue in North Korea and all of these communists. Become a become a, a, a democracy. Hello? We don't like the fact that we can't take that little piece of island. We need that. We need that island so we can set up ballistic missiles there for our protection. 
We need that so we can create weather there. And we need that so we can, you know, have tourists, more tourist places for people. Hello. 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 Because we can't fuck with Jamaica because it's owned by the British. We cannot fuck with those places. Hello. If only Cuba, you can become a democracy. And, uh, and by the way, Cuba, we're really angry with you because we've been asking, we've been asking for Asata Shakur since the 1970s and you have not released her yet. We demand. We demand because we're the big bad wolf. We demand Asata Shakur right now. You know? Wah, wah, wah. So, I tell you what, we're going to punish our people and they cannot come to visit you and put money in your pocket because you won't do it our way. That's why you can't go, okay? And you need a visa. We need to make sure that our animals don't get out. Shit. We need them for our experimentation. And we got folks that pay top dollars for livers, <laughs> eyeballs, stem cell researches. People need hair, like uh, uh, Rogaine and Minox Minoxidil is created from certain type of people, DNA, and we need that. We need DMT, we need uh, we need melatonin pills, and we need melanotan. We need these things. Hello, okay. Uh, we need we need we need bones. We need cadaver bones for people who have shattered bones. We need those things. You know, we need we need we need to do womb implants or uterine implants and fallopian tube implants. You see, y'all laughing, but they be doing that kind of stuff. We need kidneys. Those are very hot commodity. Uh, the fact that they go out so fast from our metals and stuff that we have, our metals that we have up there as chemtrails and stuff is killing people's kidneys, and, and the rich need them. Hello? So we can't have certain ones of them getting out. Hello? Especially our, 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 our people who have O blood, O positive blood. We need those people. Don't let them go. Don't let them out. Please don't let them out. They may go and find out it's nicer in, in other places. I'm not saying Cuba is nicer here. I just know it's a lot of people packing up and leaving. Hello. Go, look up Mexico right now. People paying like $100 a month on apartments. Look up that. Retire in Mexico. <laughs> it's starting to look good on the outside of this country, isn't it? I was just sitting there. I was having a meltdown. I was having a total meltdown. And I got to go and go to bed, y'all. I'm going to have to get a bath and get a bed. And go to bed. Listen to me. I'm going to have to get a bath and, and get a bed. <laughs> uh, There's a lot of folks are going homeless. A lot. A lot of folks. A lot of folks in California, especially, are becoming homeless. And I'm not saying that's out of spite because there are some people who hate me. They hate my guts and they're in Cali. And they are having some extenuating circumstances. So I'm not saying anything to be ugly or mean to anybody. I'm just saying, let's look past the hatred but there are a lot of people homeless, little kids, homeless in California. They're homeless all over the U.S., but California is getting to be ridiculous. I said get out of the place. There's a family that I really love over here called Maze Lee. They're talking about moving to California. I said go and get the experience. But I don't think I don't I'm not sure if that's gonna be a place that you wanna continue to stay with your children in California. But I know they got to get their experience. It's something that they got to get there. That's understandable. But for us to be saying I mean it's 
maybe somebody's going to make a way for them because they got my seven children. And I'm telling you, to get a decent-sized house for those many kids to be comfortable, you really and truly are going to be looking at a million dollars for an average home, a million. When you're talking about how houses are half a million and a half a million dollar house in Cali is really like a, 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 a an abandoned an abandoned house that need like severe rehabbing that's a lot of fucking money hello so um I had a meltdown and I was like I really want to get the fuck up out of here because but I don't know where to go um, anybody want to go with me? Um, the meltdown came from the fact that the gas is getting to be incredibly high. So it's like, if I'm going to stay in America, I'm going to need an electric car. Okay. Gasoline is going to skyrocket. You know, just to get to half a tank, 25 bucks from an empty it's 25 bucks, and to take it from a half on up, it's another, what, 30 or more? Come on, y'all. Food is ridiculously high. That's why I buy my clothes from a thrift store. I would never spend money on retail clothes. I was looking at this place I was in. Um, I forgot the name of this place, but it had like a shirt, like the shirt I could find in a thrift store for $60. People got to be out of their minds paying that kind of money for clothes. Racking up credit card debt. Crazy, man. So in that meltdown, I'm like, man, I really need to leave here. I really need to get me a passport and a visa and try to travel abroad to see where I can go. I know this one lady said she was 50 years old. She moved to Ghana. At 50. Because I was saying, well, I'm too old to move. But that lady said she moved at 50. I'm like, fuck, man. I might make a break to Ghana somewhere. I may just get them to go. A lot of people are like, don't go. Don't come to Ghana. Don't come to Ghana. Because Ghana is uh, going through their own little things and stuff like that and everything. But really and truly, I really want to get out of America. This is not really where I want to go. I want to go to a wonderful place where I don't have to really necessarily have a car. And um, be able to go to the markets, walk to the markets, walk everywhere. I really want to leave here. If anyone knows a better place other than America, let me know. I'm, I'm ready to go. Hello? I'm ready to go. I can always Skype my children on Skype. Uh, Mr. Will, I can Skype him too. 